Good morning. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be making a box, an origami box out of an A4 piece of paper. So first you'll need to fold to the side, making sure we have a straight crease. And if you notice that line between the fold, you're going to need to cut that bit because we need a square piece of paper to make this box. All right, just put that to one side. Put your scissors down and now we're going to fold the box the other way to make a new crease line. This is really important because the next step is actually the hardest bit and we've got to make sure our crease lines are extra creasy if that's a word. So just push down with your fingers and again the other way. All right, and just line it up as best you can. Now this is where it gets tricky. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna use our index finger and we're gonna put it on the side, trying to touch that tip. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap around that kind of tri small triangle to get this kind of shape. It's quite tricky. You might need your parents or older siblings to help you with that. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side and you're going to push those inside bits down and then push the top triangle down on top of it. And then I'm just going to squeeze the tip making sure I've got a point. I'm going to softly push the sides down trying to line up each one. And you can see the inside of what it's meant to look like. You've kind of got these separated bits in the middle and I'm going to push that all down making, making extra sure that it's all lined up. There we go. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the corner to the top to try and make this kind of diamond shape in the middle. So I'm going to start with one side and then I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to try bring them together at the top and I'm going to just smooth everything out making sure it's extra flat. Great, now I'm going to flip it over and do the same on the back. There we go, making sure it lines up with the opposite side. Really important. And pushing down every little crease. It's okay if those little flaps are flipping up, that's fine. Now, what we're going to try and do is make a pocket. So you're actually going to fold that little new triangle into the middle and do the same on the other side and I'll reveal the pocket in just a moment so now we've got those two bits folded there we go that's the little pocket and we're going to do the same on the other side fold into the middle and fold into the middle so they just touch perfect now you can use your fingernails and try and put your finger into the little pocket. Then you get the top flappy bit and you just slide it in and push down. And then repeat for the other side. Use your finger now, open up the pocket, sometimes a bit tricky, get the flap and slide it in. It's okay if it comes out of touch, that's fine. And we're gonna flip it over and repeat on the other side making sure to get it nice and snug and push it down when it's in. And once more. And push, perfect. Now, you might be saying, how is this a box? It's flat. Well, if you look on the tip, it's actually open at the bottom. So what you're gonna do is that's where you blow some air through just like a balloon. See, I've just blown a bit, it's blowing up, and again, and a bit more air, and it's all blown up. So that is your paper balloon. Well done. And you can play this game, see how many taps you can get before it touches the ground. Now, if you want to fold it flat again, you just push down all the sides carefully and slowly, and you have your flat box ready to go whenever you are. Thanks.